first Ghost Rider. I mean, I liked Sam Elliott as the caretaker. I liked the special effects, and I loved Spider Bait's rendition of Ghost Riders in the Sky. It was the best thing in the movie. But the action scenes I felt were too short. They were basically over almost as soon as they began. And the story was a bit uh, weak, and the characters, I couldn't really get into them. General reception of Ghost Rider was so bad that of all the comic book movies released in the past decade, I would have thought that this one was the least likely to get a sequel. But now, here we have Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance! The best thing about this movie is the special effects. I love how the rider looks. It looks nightmarish and freaky, but in a cool way, in a cool way. And you definitely don't want to meet this guy on the road. The action is great. You got the rider uh, pummeling bad guys in the ground, ripping vehicles apart. It's not spectacular, but there is an adequate amount of glorious, stylized carnage that uh, action movie buffs uh, go to these kind of movies to see. The cameramen in Spirit of Vengeance have a hard, had a hard time keeping the camera still. It was shaking all over the place during not only a lot of the action sequences, but just scenes where there are people talking. Cameras shaking up and down. It was really annoying. The story is Meh. And worse, the characters are not intriguing. They're likable, but there's no depth to them. There's nothing that makes you feel for them or really care about them. The bad guy, in, the main bad guy in this movie was the one I was most disappointed with. And he's the devil! The lord of all evil! And in this movie, he's not threatening. He's very underwhelming, no no charisma, no menace to him. He's a joke, basically. I mean, Peter Fonda in the last movie, he didn't do much, but he had this air of menace about him. This poor guy, I don't know his name, but the guy who plays the devil in this movie, he didn't even have that. So this is my rating system for every movie, TV show, and anime that I'm going to review. Uh, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance has great special effects and great action sequences that save it from being complete garbage, but it doesn't have anything else going for it. So I'm going to call it... If you still want to see this movie, I highly recommend you wait and rent it when it comes out on DVD. It, I didn't find it worth watching in 3D. Uh, the 3D didn't really add anything to the experience. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, if you did, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I got more stuff coming. My next video review is going to be Studio Ghibli's The Secret World of Arietti. Hope to see you then. Until next time, this is Lady Fantasy signing off. Bye-bye!